I'm Garth Powell, and I'm the Senior Product Designer for Furman. Today I'd like to talk to you about our discrete, symmetrically balanced power technology. One of the problems that we're going to have in today's home theater is that if you're putting together a large system and you're trying to pull more than 20 amps, it's fine enough to have a power management system that can handle either 15 amps for a smaller device or perhaps larger devices at 20 amps. Well, what happens when you're putting together a large system that may be pulling well in excess of 20 amps? In a situation like that, you could have one, two, three, four, five dedicated 20 amp services. And even if they're going to the same phase of your AC mains, which would be proper, still your chances of a humbar or your chances of buzz coming through your audio due to a circulating ground loop become relatively high. Well, broadcasters have had a number of ways of addressing this for years. One is to strap and star ground everything, but in a home that may be impractical in part. And you have a situation where that's simply not going to be possible when you've got a subwoofer on one part of the room, you've got a plasma on another wall, you've got a plasma yet again on another wall, an LCD in the den, and a projector up on the ceiling, and a rack or two full of equipment over here, all coming from different ground potentials. Certainly, we could end up with a devastating problem. We can't leave with a ground loop or certainly with a humbar rolling up our screen. So we're going to have to do something about it. Well, in broadcast for years, isolated transformers have been the gold standard. With the reference 20i, I have a 70-pound isolation transformer, discrete, symmetrically balanced, with four isolated secondaries, dual Faraday shield that can actually float the ground, GFI protected, NRTLC code compliant, and I can break these problems, get rid of ground contamination, lower the noise by better than 90 dB common mode, and over a wide bandwidth of frequencies with linearized filtering, get rid of the noise problems. But the main thing is, is that we can vastly improve not only the performance of the video, but we can break catastrophic problems with humbars. Now, and we can do this at the source. Right now, this particular demonstration has a humbar generator that we've induced to demonstrate the worst possible hum problem you could ever have so that you'll still be able to witness this even on the diminished resolution of YouTube. If we take a look at this right now, we don't have a problem with this video display through Blu-ray that's paused because we're running through the Furman with its advanced isolation transformer technology, discrete symmetrical power. But with my switching box, if I disable the Furman and we look at the power that's actually uh, present here at the Cedia show, this is what we have to contend with. The world's worst rolling bar rolling up our screen, distorting all our images to the point where we're almost losing sync. This is complete catastrophe. This is completely unacceptable. This is 100 times worse than the worst hum bar you could conceivably have rolling up the screen at 60 cycles per second. But even with this gross amount of distortion, even with this level of problems, as soon as I re-enable the Furman, problem solved. That's what we're capable of doing at Furman, and this is just one of our unique technologies that ensure you will have not only the most reliable operation of your home theater, but high resolution and high definition that's allowed to work at 100% effectivity every single time. Thank you.